Thank you. And uh, before I start, uh, I would just like to say this is not chat GPT. I have written this myself. So uh, thank you all. Thank you for coming here today. I, uh, I hope that all of you enjoyed the sessions. Uh, we had very eminent speakers speaking about uh, you know, the latest uh, chat GPT, digitization, and the CFO's role uh, as we move from here. Uh, my special thanks to the Indian Express team, the Express Computer team, uh, for partnering us. Also, InfiFlex Technologies and DMAC uh, for supporting uh, this event. Uh, uh, brief on the chamber, uh, we are just 187 year old. In fact, on the 14th of uh, December, we celebrate our 187th Foundation Day. Uh, you know, the chamber has been at the forefront of looking at all the latest happenings in every single field. Uh, we did a huge shipping conclave where we discussed logistics, and this was before the Middle East uh, flare-up. Uh, we discussed as to how logistics has been disrupted with the, the problem between Ukraine and Russia. Uh, we did a huge agri-conclave where we connected almost uh, 110 FPOs with buyers from uh, uh, our member base right from HUL to Reliance Fresh to others, and a lot of FPOs who depend on uh, middlemen were uh, very happy that they could directly speak to the buyers. We had huge governance conclave, and with uh, the kind of regulations which come up from SEBI on a regular basis, the chamber is at the forefront of ensuring that each and every uh, new regulation is taken care of. Uh, we. Uh, when the data protection bill came in, we were at the forefront again, explaining to our members as to what are the pitfalls, not only of uh, data protection from the customers, but a very important segment which most people haven't really paid attention to, which is the uh, data protection or the data which resides with the HR, you know, of employees which are no longer employees of the organization, where right from the medical history to personal data is available. And uh, what happens to that? What happens to applications which are taken and candidates which are not selected? All that, that data is lying, and if that is misused, it becomes a big problem tomorrow. So uh, there's a big conf conclave again on the 14th we have on uh, sustainability, which we'll discuss as to uh, what are the new happenings and how uh, that can be taken care of. I'm telling you all this so that you know all those who are not members can become members of the chamber, because on a regular basis, we keep on coming up with uh, all the happenings in uh, almost every field which we can think of, uh, which will definitely help your company. Uh, we lay special emphasis on DNI, and that's, that's one of the core areas right now that the chamber is working on. The other big thing which we're doing is helping MSMEs. We have almost 2,800 MSME members, and all our large companies today are helping the MSMEs. Uh, on a regular basis. My big thanks to uh, Shrikant KP and his eight-old team for putting the books together, along with my colleague, Stina, uh, who's uh, really worked very, very hard. We had to, in fact, uh, you know, call a lot of CFOs who are very, very busy and you know, ensure that uh, we got them to write. Uh, this is something which we are going to now send to all our members. Even uh, some of the other things we should have done, uh, the DNI, we had the first DNI awards a couple of months back. We had 80 companies participating, and uh, each of them had a case study which was uh, sent to the jury. Now, that's put, again, in a uh, book format. Any of you want to have a look at it as to how they have implemented it in their organizations, uh, please write to us. Uh, you can, after this, uh, you know, speak to me, speak to my colleague, Stina, and we'll be happy to send it across to you. And we expect all of you to ensure that your organization participates, in case you have not done last year, to participate in our DNI Awards, which we'll again conduct next year. So with that, I've taken enough time. Um, thank you. Thanks a lot.